Manny, you said yesterday that Freddie Roach was going to supervise your training. Freddie's made a statement that you have not reached out to him. Um, when will that take place? We have a scheduled meeting to, uh, tonight. Tonight? Do you believe Freddie would be amenable to reuniting with you based on everything that's happened? With what? Do you think he will agree to eventually supervise your training once you talk to him? Well, I, I don't know. We, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss, we'll talk about this, and um, uh, we'll see. We'll see the, uh, what we discuss. If he decides not to, what are, have you thought about other options? Yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> Boo Boy is still part of the team. Justin's still part of the team, so okay. there's a lot of Yeah. <clears throat> How does it feel to be back in the United States after this hiatus? How does it feel to be back in fighting in Canada once again? Nice to be back here um, in America uh, to fight again in Las Vegas uh, for more than two years. Uh, I'm just uh, uh, too busy uh, with my um, scenic work and just this uh, <coughs> uh, right time that uh, I can I can I can uh, fight outside um, I, I fight here again in in, in America because uh, uh, election is coming so we will not be uh, we're not gonna be busy in, in the scenic. Well, um, fighting with uh, Brunner is not is not easy. Um, I have to make sure that 100% um, condition, uh, work hard and discipline myself, and also uh, <coughs> if that. Uh, fight happened with uh, Floyd after um, Adrian, and I think um, it's uh, good for me um, to have uh, Brunner before uh, Mayweather because of uh, similar style. But uh, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about uh, <coughs> this this uh, January 19. <coughs> do you think Do you think that you're dealing with a desperate opponent in Broner? Just that he, you know he's had a couple losses and maybe this is make or break for him. It's either going to go away or beat you. Oh, um, I will not let that happen. That um, he will beat me. I have to make sure. Like I said, I have to work hard and uh, we're doing our best. Uh, like we did uh, what we did in um, Matisse fight um, training. Well, the way we we train. Um, Focus. There was so much uh, talk about the tax issues that you had in the U.S. How did those go away for this fight to take place? Well, I, I'm not um, worried about it. Um, I'm not uh, <coughs> uh, running from it. Um, we're fixing it. Right. Yes. You're fixing it right yeah. now? Yes, yes. Manny, how's, how's working with um, Al Heyman compared to top rank? I mean, how's your experience been so far? <coughs> Well, I, I cannot say bad things about uh, Top Rank because, um, of course, uh, he helped me a lot and <clears throat> they're nice to me. So how can how how can I uh, talk bad about them? But um, I'm really uh, uh, thankful to uh, <clears throat> to be a partner with uh, Al Heyman um, to have a chance to <clears throat> work with him. Um, he's a nice guy, and um, his people is a very nice guy. So, um, hoping for <clears throat> and also big opportunity for my fighters uh, to have a uh, chance to to fight here in America. Especially, I have a lot of fighters in the Philippines, uh, um, almost uh, 50 fighters. So. Wow! So uh, fast, PBC, mommy. Mommy, we'll see all your guys at PBC. Yes. Mm -hmm. Danny, now that you've completed the the two stops. What do you make of um, Adrian Broner and sort of the way he talks? You said he's got a fast mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian Broner, Broner is a um, funny guy. Um, I think um, after his uh, um, boxing career, uh, he has another career. <laughs> <laughs>
Did you get mad at the jokes that he did, the driving joke? Um, no. Um, it's um, inspired me, and I will do it in, in the ring. So none of the, the jokes and stuff, you just see it as a joke? You don't see it as a joke? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joke, yes. Yeah. It seems like it was it's hard funny. for you to. It seems like it was hard for you to face off with him the two times. You you kept laughing. What was going through your mind at that moment? Because um, I I kind of um, laughing, smiling, and when 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 I look in his uh, face, like you know, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, how much longer do you want to box? Um. Right now, if I ask me my condition, um, I'm okay. Um, I think I need. Um, I have uh, more um, three more years uh, like that. Manny, if you beat Broner, and I know you want to focus in on January 19th, have you been given assurances that if you beat Adrian Broner, that the Mayweather rematch would be next in 2019? Um, I cannot give you assurance for that. But um, if you ask me, it's good for me. I mean, it's good that uh, that fight will happen because uh, then the question about uh, maybe the fight it will uh, stop. You know, <laughs> people are uh, asking about uh, the fight with uh, the rematch with Mayweather all over again. Um, uh, but uh, I think it's a. Uh, um, it's good to have uh, <clears throat> another fight with uh, Floyd Mayweather because of uh, of these uh, questions from from the, the fans, from the people. They they been they been ask, asking uh, that question because uh, the first one is doubtful. Do you regret taking that first fight, given that you <coughs> had that shoulder injury that you were dealing with? Do you wish, in hindsight, that you had delayed it? Um, I'm not regretted about what happened the the, the first fight, but um, of course uh, there is a second fight. Um, if that fight happened again, uh, it, won't, uh, it will not happen again. The the, um, the excuses. And Leonard's right here. Leonard, has Floyd told you that his plan is to fight him again in May? No, absolutely not. We haven't had one discussion about it. Um, focus is obviously. Um, Manny and Bronner. Bronner. Um, it's a great fight. And um, I, I think that Adrian has something to say about that. <coughs> that, you know, all the talk out there that, you know, about a rematch. Um, I don't I, I haven't had a discussion with Floyd about that. Well, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about, you know. I have uh, to focus on um, this, this fight first against Adrian Bronner. Um, it's hard to, to talk about the after this fight, you know. Um, about the rematch with Floyd, that um, I have a coming fight with the Broner, so um, I think it, it's uh, the right time to, to look about that maybe after the fight with Broner. But if you say there's a rematch, no, I, I, I can say no, there's no rematch um, because I'm fighting with uh, Adrian Broner. Danny, you had your pick of the litter when it came to the welterweight, so <coughs> what's the inspiration behind going with Adrian Broner as opposed to any of the other guys? Um, I I saw his um, couple fights. Um, Adrian Broner is fast and uh, he's a good boxer. Uh, it's it's good to challenge. Um, good challenge for me. Um, you know, especially he's young and um, I'm turning my 40 years old this uh, December. So that's a, a big, big, big challenge for me. Leonard, quick question. Um, Floyd made it clear he's only going to fight for nine <coughs> figures. He's not doing medium-sized fights. Rematch with Manny, <coughs> what anyone says, would still be a nine-figure fight. On the night of January 19th, if Manny wins against Broner, would you then at least broach the subject with Floyd, or is that something he has to bring up specifically? Totally, it would be up to him. That's his choice. He always makes the decisions when it comes to his fights and who he wants to fight. And um, It would totally be up to him. Do you think he would be interested? It's tough to say. Tough to say. Manny, 
Uh, two part question. What's been the highest moment of your career? What's been the lowest? And what do you want to prove in this po second part of your career? Uh, the, the highest uh, moment in my career is when, when I was voted as a fighter of a decade. And uh, win those uh, titles, uh, different weight division. And that's the, the highest moment in my career. And the lowest moment in my career is, uh, is the, when, you, uh, when I lost uh, the fight that uh, I'm supposed to be winning. Which one was that? Like birthday fight, um, um, a horn fight, like that. Whose style does um, Brona remind you of that you fought in your career? Yeah, his style. Does it remind you of anybody that you fought in your career? Um, his style is a uh, remind me of uh, well, uh, uh, me with the fight. So, you fighting him is that kind of a not a warm up, but like a <laughs> test to see how you can adjust to that style to get ready for a rematch with Floyd. Well, uh, it just happened that uh, um, Adrian Brunner is my, my opponent, but uh, it's not uh, my plan um, just uh, to fight um, one at a time. Uh, and my focus is uh, just to Adrian Brunner, uh, not to Floyd Mayweather. And like, uh, like I said, uh, there is no rematch. Uh, I mean, uh, <coughs> We just we just uh, uh, focusing right now for uh, January 19, and after that I have uh, um, we have um, election in the Philippines uh, by uh, May next year. Manny, you said that you have learned to develop your power. Um, can you elaborate a bit more on exactly how you've gone about that? Oh, uh, there's um, uh, some strategy that we. <laughs> We applied back with uh, Boo Boy Fernand Fernandez, and I think um, it's really need that uh, strategy in uh, 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 training routine. Man, have you watched any of the Broner fights? <coughs> yes, I did couple fights. Which one? Um, I cannot uh, memorize the his opponent, but uh, um, the one with. Uh, Call this the Michigan, Michigan guy. Jesse Vargas, the last one. Um, Jesse Vargas and the other one. Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia. Yeah. Mikey Garcia. Yeah. My Donna. Um, Manny, I, 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 I find so many metaphors to, to, to come up with. You said your fighter of the decade, Mayweather Promotions promoting the fight. It took five years to make Mayweather Pack One. What are your, what are, can you make your silent thoughts loud now and? speak on that now your teammates and working together to facilitate the sport of boxing what what what, what could you say again uh, like you and Mayweather Promotions are working together it took five years for y'all to work together to get the fight and you just said you're a fighter of the decade and you're standing next to Lennon Ellaby what are your silent thoughts now that your allies friends working together to better each other's career well it's uh, nice to work with them uh, and also, uh, it's a, a big opportunity for my fighters. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of fighters uh, in the Philippines, uh, almost 50 boxers, professional boxers. This is uh, this boxers is caliber boxers. You know, I'm a fighter. I know how to choose uh, my fighters. So they're good. Um, uh, I'm so glad and happy that uh, we have a chance to, to fight here in America. Based on the fights you've seen, what do you think is your biggest advantage fighting Adrian Broner? Biggest advantage uh, fighting Broner is uh, my my power, my strength. I think um, I'm stronger than him. You think volume? He's had trouble throwing a lot of punches. Do you think the volume will have a factor in the fight? Yes, uh, volume, uh, throwing a lot of punches, and um, of course, uh, hard punches in uh, football also. Yes. 
Amy Bell, that you and Freddie Roach have reunited. What was that first conversation like? Was it an in-depth conversation? Did you embrace? What was the, that first conversation back? Well, the like? first conversation with my people is uh, just uh, we have a schedule for a uh, meeting tonight. So we will let you know what we, we, we would discuss. Was it emotional? Was it just a normal day for you? It's a normal, normal. I have no, um, I have uh, no hard feelings with uh, Freddy. Freddy is, uh, is uh, a friend of mine since uh, 2001. How, how did you get out of Bob Aaron's contract? Seeming that fighters in the past have had difficulty. Mikey Garcia had to sit out two years. Oscar went to court. Floyd had to pay money. What? How did you get out Which, of it? Uh, we paid. We finished the contract and after that thing. Oh, it was a, okay. it just in it. Yes. What's your training schedule going to be like? Is it, I think this is one of the first times you're practicing through your birthday and through Christmas and into New Year's. Uh, so are you going to do Philippines, U.S.? How, how will that be? Um, I have to finish my work in, in, in the Senate and after that uh, celebrate my birthday. But while working, celebrating my birthday, I'm still in training, of course, in that um, situation. And after my birthday celebration, then uh, I'm back here. So Senate ends on the 12th for everyone. Manny's birthday is the 17th. Then a few days later, he will resume training in Los Angeles. Media, please stay put. Adrian's on his way in. All right, we're going to go upstairs. Manny, one, one quick question. You look quite fit and trim in your suit today. What was your reaction to Broner's physique when you first laid eyes on him? Well, he's uh, it's up to you. a little bit uh, fat. <laughs> you need to train. <laughs> you need to train uh, uh, more, more, work hard for this fight. <laughs> but I mean, uh, that's uh, the term that I, um, I use. Yeah. And are you hoping for a more offensive, you know, like head-to-head -head fight, like the fans are, or are you fine with a more defensive? I need. Uh, I'm hoping for uh, like my last fight with Matisse. My more action is. Uh, if we want action, there's action in the ring. So, like Matt, that. Matt, if you become and I'm hoping also for uh, like that result. If you become president, will you still box? Excuse me? If you become president of the Philippines, will we see you still boxing? I hope so. I hope so. Thank you, Matt.